Namaste, Dr. S.P. Musad. Today I am talking about how disease or illness will happen. Because most of the time when I see the patients, we came to know that disease first starts in the mind. Because many people will fully indulge in their illness or their health. Over indulged in health or any such issues, surely they will end up in one or other disease. For example, if you read out the symptoms of a cancer, if 10 symptoms are there, 5 symptoms will be there for you as well as for me. 5 symptoms may not be there. So it's about your mind that works out whether that first 5 has to be increased or the second 5. Usually we will go for a blood test and all the routine checkups every 6 months. But your, that checkups or the result of that should not control your mind. You should be above that. Because if you fully indulged in the sugar level, fully indulged in the cholesterol level, oh it's in the borderline, we should do something. You will be thinking of much about that cholesterol level or sugar level. That itself will make you the sugar level high. Without any intake of sugar or anything, your sugar level will be high. When we see that, it's in the darker part. That's why the average level, if you can compare it. For a doctor, average level, uh, it's not a need in that. But still, we are writing in that. So, automatically your mind will say that I am prone to, because I am in the borderline. I am in the borderline of cholesterol. I am in the borderline of sugar level. Whatever it may be. If started controlling you, damn sure that you will end up in that. Because psychology says that whatever goes to your script, if I need to get a fever tomorrow morning, if my intention or getting fever or I am thinking of the fever every time today, surely I will end up in fever tomorrow. That's not a myth or it's a fact. That psychology says the script will make the disease. For example, for a cancer patient, maybe he or she may be having cancer since 5 years, may not be aware of that. But when he started being aware of that he is a cancer patient, the deterioration started tremendously. Like within months or week, he will be very much bedridden. Why that happens? Since five years, it was there inside. I'm not saying you should not take care of your health. But still, mind is the main factor whether you should be healthy or you should be unhealthy. So make sure if... You are such kind of people, like every time you are going for a blood test, every time you are checking your body, uh, how I should be healthy, uh, better put that issue to your doctor. There comes the importance of a family physician. In the present era, you don't need any specialties in the primary level. You need a good doctor or a good family physician so that he or she should know your family factors first. Because most of the issues or illness may be related to your family issues. So the doctor also should know all, not only the reports. Because nowadays we have seen that doctor will just see the report and start writing the medication. Reports are secondary actually. He should interact with you. He should have a, your knowledge about your family, your lifestyle, everything. So then only a doctor can guide you in the proper manner. Otherwise... Each and every illness, you may have to take some of medications. So, the importance of a family physician is those who are having more conscious about their health. If at all you came to know, okay, something is happening, go to that doctor, tell him, rely on him and whatever he says, you should do that. So that it should not enter to your mind. Nowadays, people are doing, they will go and search in the Google. What are the symptoms? Hair fall, tiredness, lethargy, everything. Oh, cancer is also having such symptom. You will be thinking about cancer. You will just Google it. What is cancer? This is the last. So better take care of your health. Better have a family physician. Put your concerns to that doctor. Then it's his headache that to guide you in the proper manner. And family physician, I am damn sure that he will not mis misguide you because he or she have to see you afterwards also. If you go for a sophisticated high center,
the doctor don't know you you don't know the doctor also so it will not give you a proper result so better be health conscious but it's not control your mind have a family physician namaste